we're going to be creating an edit webhook such that if you update a record in a contact here, it will come over and update a record in a contact over here. In our last session, what we did was we created a webhook, which is a bit of automation, very similar to an email notification. And we did an add record one. And just in quick review, uh, this is a view of that. We know we're going over to another table. We're doing an XML post with a quick base action. And this is the API edit or ABI add record. And you can see how we've constructed and mapped these fields over here. So, uh, and that was very successful. We were able to add a record here and it would mirror that process and add a record on the uh, other table. So let's cancel out of here. What I'd like to do is copy this and actually take and use this one and change the um, idea. I'm going to call this edit contact record now. And whenever it, it record is modified, I want it to come down and do everything else except I'd like it to edit record. Now there's one big difference here where this is the API for add record. It's very similar for edit record, but we need to go over to the API to take a look at what that is because it's missing something. It's missing the record ID. So let's go over to the um, API and look underneath here. Now all you have to do is a Google search and you'll find this, but edit record, here it is. And we're going to scroll down all the details about how powerful this, this functionality is uh, are outlaid here. Um, but here it is. I would like to do this. And the real, the big difference is where the record ID equals something. So all the other uh, considerations are the same. Let's go back into the, the app. Uh, the thing that's missing here is the record ID. So I'm going to just put it in here. Now I, of course, don't know what the record ID actually is that we're going to be um, changing. So I need to be able to find out what that is. So when we're adding the record, I need to know what the source is. The destination might be a whole different record ID number. So let's temporarily just save this for a second. Uh, when we go back into the add record, I'm going to pass over into the other um, a value. So let's uh, exit out settings here for a sec. Let's go in here. And there's one thing, the, uh, the source record ID. I need to add a field in here for source record ID. Uh, OK. That's what I'm going to call it anyway. And this is going to be a number field. And done. Okay, that means that I need to send this note over because eventually I'll want to update this record here. And how will I know unless I know what the original record ID actually is? So let's make sure that the original webhook is going to be adding that into it. So we'll go into the add webhooks, add record, or um, add contact one. We're going to be appending to this list another value in here. And we'll say field FID equals, and, I've, and I'm going to take a guess. No, I have no idea. I'm going to say it's 22. That's just a guess. We'll, we're going to uh, figure that out here in a second. But locally in this table, it is record ID there. That's, that's the field I want to put in here. Okay, so now that's a guess. It was 22. How do we find out what that is? Well, it's a little bit of going back and forth. But let's go over here and just uh, view this. Right click, edit the field, and it's actually 23. You can see it down below right here. When I hover over it, it's 23. You can always go into settings and go into here and say source record ID is 23.
three, as you can see here. Okay, that's another way to make that happen. So let's go back to the webhook that we have set up. And this is the add record one, if you remember. So we'll go into webhooks. We'll do the add contact. And we'll come down and put that into number 23. Okay. And then save. Okay. Now I'm going to turn this on. When you make a copy of a webhook, this is turned off typically. So let's add a uh, record here. I'm actually going to go back into this one and delete it. This was the uh, original record. Grid edit. Click delete on my keyboard and click save. Are you sure you want to delete? Yes. So now we have uh, the ability to recreate Tom Terrific here. And rather than filling this whole thing out, I'm going to say, well, how about if I copy this contact? So this is, again, going to be called ABC. I'll say BBC. How about that one? BBC. And it's Tom Terror. And he's the, uh, I'm making a couple of changes, can you tell? Okay, let's click on save. Okay, we recreated this. Now, the actual one that says come over here and add has created this one here. And you can see its original is record 202 is the source record ID. So uh, we need to come in here under the, this one here and look at this webhook and further our progression of editing a contact. So, yeah, let's get rid of this copy thing. Okay, whenever a record is modified, go to this table, do an edit record where the record ID is equal to, and we're going to say it's 23, and there. Let's go see uh, what happens. Save. And we'll exit out of here. And here's uh, Tom Terrific. Um, but what I want to do is find Terror. Where's Terror? Striking Terror. This one here. Let's edit this one. And we'll say from director to president. It's been a great climb. We'll hit save. And uh, let's go over to webhooks contacts. And we still have uh, the directors here. Now, this is not the record ID. And it really needs to know what the record ID is. So what we need to do is be able to, to look at that and this is going to require us to be able to change the key field to this number here, source record ID. So let's go into uh, the webhooks contacts. We'll go into settings and then go into fields. And you can see where it is the record ID right now. And I'm going to say source is this there. So it's going to actually tell us uh, when we do this. We're going to say set key. Are you sure? Yes. Now let's go try that. So we go into contacts and we look up terror here, edit. And this time I'm going to take it down to um, CTO, Chief Technology Officer. Let's change the address to uh, 1500 something, whatever, Beacon Street in Brookline, Massachusetts. We click on save. Okay, so you can see where BBC, y, uh, uh, XYZ, let's go over and see what's happened. Webhook, 1200 Commonwealth app. This still hasn't happened. So let's see what happened. Why didn't this happen? Uh, we go back to uh, contacts where the webhooks are. We click into webhooks and we look at the view error history. And it says there's something wrong. There's an error code edit record. No such record exists. Sorry, there's no record in this table with a record ID of. And notice what it says here. Quote, quote. 
so what, what, what is this, this idea here that we're not actually getting the value that we want? It's telling us, and the same thing happened behind. There's no record that's associated with it. So let's go back and check our settings. So this is the um, edit contact. We can click right there and go right into it. So let's see, my data, I've got permission to do this with this app token. Uh, record ID 20 is, is um, record ID 23. Really what I wanted to put in here is the name of that field, which is source. It's actually our record ID record ID there it is right there save all right now let's give it a go exit we'll go into uh, terror again we'll view it we will um, edit this record and now he's uh, uh, he's the manager and his address is 40 40 uh, let's say Brattle Street in Cambridge, Mass. And of course, we'll leave that information and say save. So Tom Terror is the manager in at Brattle Street in Mass. Let's come over here. Brattle Street, Cambridge. Um, and yep, the manager. So we've got uh, this added here. Now look what happens when we add a new contact. And I'll say um, uh, Mary... Mary uh, Dockers, whatever that is. And her name is Mary. Crane, and she is the governor. And, and we're just picking some local addresses here. 617-555-1212. Same phone number, right? 617-555-1818. Um, and it's uh, mc at example.com. And that, since that's all we have, let's save this. Now, the very first webhook is taking this and bringing it over here. And so now when we look at the second one, we see we've got Mary Crane with 222 Memorial Drive. Now let's go back to uh, Mary um, Crane. I got a couple of cranes in here, I think family family friends uh, so we're looking up under and we're looking for Mary so it's looking all right there's Mary let's edit Mary and uh, we're going to take that record change just change something instead of governor at 222 Memorial Drive we're going to shift it and we'll move to oh I don't know 669 uh, Boylston Street in Boston and um, We'll make her a flying squirrel and then save. So that should make that happen. But the, the reason I'm doing this again is to show you what's going to happen when I edit a whole bunch of these records. Flying squirrel 669. So we've got them when they add, when they um, edit. The next one I'm going to do is uh, when, when we delete a record. And then I'm going to talk about, um, in a subsequent other one, um, what to do when you've got multiple records being imported, grid edited, or, uh, um, yeah, by API, you've created a whole bunch of records. We need to iterate through and treat them. If you remember, email notifications only work with uh, single record changes. So when you do them in mass record changes, we've got another uh, strategy around doing that called import from CSV, but uh, that's in another one.